unboxing of Soka ST 660 is this one is uh, keep it for the security purpose we can use it uh, in gate barrier uh, then the door access systems like the dark kind of uh, access system we can use this one within the box there will be one manual so uh, 660 series then the keyboard then the screws for uh, installing there will be the six pin connector uh, for giving a power supply as well as the relay output this one for the uh, data purpose we will see one by one for installing we have to remove this screw which is special type we have to remove it by the help of the align key flower type which will uh, come with the keeper then we can remove the base cover here is the connector socket this one for power supply as well as relay output this one for the uh, data uh, for the gate barrier we will use only this connector because we need uh, we can uh, do a program with the card uh, as well as password uh, so we we, we, we just uh, want to get a relay output so that we will only use this six pin connector For giving a power supply, I take a red color wire to the positive terminal of the battery, negative terminal to the purple color. You can uh, call us brown. Now I will show you. We got here power supply. In display it's showing a model number ST 660 s now we can do program all these things Now I just show you the detail of a 6 pin connector. Uh, red for the DC 12 volt plus and brown for the ground or else uh, DC negative 12 volt. Then for the gate barrier we will use only NO and common of the relay output. So that NO green comma purple in wires positive round for negative then we will use these two colors purple for common then 
green for normally water now i will show you the programming details uh, uh, this uh, keypad comes with the default password 4567 for entering to the menu we have to give a put a system password first soka uh, st660 is uh, keypad default password will be 5678 for adding a card or else deleting a card we have to enter the system password first to enter into the menu so that now we are going to add one card star has 5678 then enter. see now we have enter system function for adding card we have to press 1 again we have to give has to so add one card if you have a card with this you can show it so it will add automatically if it is add we can check by getting out of the menu then we just show the card it will the okay green color led will glow see like as it will show the card number also in display i just show my card the first 10 digit number within the 10 digit number it will show only the last eight digit See? That's it. For deleting a card, we have to get into the menu. Star has five, six, seven, eight. Then has system function is. We just getting the system function. We have to press two. Again has it will show the delete one card. If you want to delete a card, we just show it. While you show it, it will say it will show the number also. If it is already deleted, if you see if you show the card, it will give a error message access denied, which means it is already deleted. This card number is doesn't exist anymore. If you show it, it will. So Denison, see. This is the, these are the basic program. Uh, likewise, it has totally twenty functions. See, add card, add one card, delete one card. The change is eight set door opening passwords, door lock time setting, and uh, anti tampering output. Change the system password. Delete a eight set of user code. Like this, delete all cards. Door opening time and setting beep sound. And change door code. The, these are the functions. Anyhow, we want to use all this function for the gate barrier. For the gate barrier, what we have, uh, what we will uh, use uh, for the gate barrier, what we uh, what we can use is for adding a card, like as deleting a card, uh, like as uh, um, uh, add a page of the card, which is under the entering enter page. Entering so that we have to choose zero six while we entering the menu. These are the uh, functions we will use uh, in get very system. Now what I am going to do is uh, while I show a non-programmed card, it has to um, show a denial light only LED now. 
Soka ST 660 S model will have a four kind of uh, access method. Uh, by the help of the last, the number will be the mode of the access. There will be total four. We will see one by one. If there is a identification mode one, we can entering by the pressing four digit password. If it is number two, we can just show the proximity card, then we can enter. If the identification mode will be three, we have to show the card as well as after showing the card, we have to enter the four digit password mode number four we have to uh, show a card or else we can just entering the password then we can get a permission granted these four kind of uh, accessing method it is using we will see one by one huh? now I have a card by the number uh, mode number two we can just show the card and get permission granted see the work led is glowing if you change the number i will show you how to change the uh, access mode we have to enter the system password star s five six seven eight s then it's showing system function then we have to press number five for entering the mode see identification modes it's showing uh, there will be the one to four, one to four now i just give you number one see identification mode is changed now in this uh, identification mode number one we can directly enter the password no need to show the proximity card at all. Let's enter. If you show a card, it won't work. See? The card is already programmed, but if you show a card, it won't work. Like this mode 1 is working. Then I, I will change the mode. Again, okay. start here. 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 5. Identification mode number two. That's it. In number two, if I show a card, I get a permission. If I enter a number password, it won't uh, give you permission to enter. In number two, only the proximity card will work. I will see number three. By the changing mode, we have to press 5. Not in mind that. Now we have entered into the identification mode 3. For the identification mode 3, we have to do, we have to do, so a proximity card and then press the password. If you show a card, Display will show the number, then I, we have to press the password. Now we get a permission. If we just show the card, we won't get any permission like that. If we press the password, we won't get. By the combination of the proximity card as well as the password is needed for the mode number 3. For now we will see mode number 4 in mode number 4 we can enter by showing the car as well as entering the password C 
see in my purpose I am going to use only the proximity card not a password at all so that I am changing the mode into mode number 2 which is default mode in this mode password won't work only the proximity card will work 